Hello, and welcome to Retro Roulette, the show that asks the question, why are you still here? I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Forgione. All right, in that case, bye. <laughs> Jason Amherst. I never left. And Billy Carter. Where am I? Who am I? How did what I get here? I? Where am I going? And for that matter, what the heck are you? If Billy, if Jimmy cracked corn and he don't care, then why should I or any of us even buy into this bullshit? Shut up. Exactly. Ah, oh, Rugrats Mario Party. Yeah. Yeah. Baby's gotta do what a baby's gotta screw. Oh. Oh. Mike, your 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 dream woman, PG Daly. <laughs> your dream woman, the Tommy. Your dream screw. woman, Tommy Pickles. That's really problematic yeah. somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Oi! Baby's got a poo, and a baby's got a poo. Fucking, listen, fucking EG Daily's hot, okay? We, there's no disagreement. Where no, but when you, she wasn't. But okay, but when you when you put her in conjunction with Tommy Pickles, then it just gets weird. It was a, it was a joke. But I know it's a joke, but it's uncomfortable. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's let's I'll come up with another character that she portrayed. Okay. It'll make you feel better. Uh Dr. Fetus. Oh shit. Oh, dang it. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm oh, no. oh no. Yeah, she only plays like little girls or little boys. <laughs> Rudy to booty and okay. chalk zone. Oh god damn it. Oh yeah, she did. Do Hi, that. I'm Dottie. I fucking Hi, I'm Dottie. Want to ride my bike? I almost forgot about Chalk Zone. That's on Paramount Plus, I think. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Rudy Taputi. Right. What are you doing, Rudy Taputi? Rudy Taputi. I'm sure she's played adult characters somewhere. That's a lie. Just Let's that. do Angelica's Temple. Oh, we can just watch the computer play if we want. <laughs> nah, I actually like playing this. Um, I guess I'll be Tommy, wow. Chucky, Phil, and Lil. Yeah, Phil and Lil. This Angelica is just this is just Rugrats Mario Party. <laughs> Here's I am there, like here, I said. and here's here's Stu, uh, a guy who is roughly my age in the show. <laughs> Actually, I might be a little Dude. bit older than he is. Here, Stu, it's three o'clock in the morning. Why are you making pudding? Because I have lost because control I've of lost my life. I've lost control of my life. It's true. Hey there, Sprouts. What? It's actually a really Hold good drink. It's actually All a really of the good. guys who voiced me died, Sprouts. Did you know that? Yeah, but that was actually a pretty good uh, Grandpa Pickles impression, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> Reptar cereal. At least it's better than corrugated bread puffs. Sp and alien fiction. <laughs> space uh, fiction. That's, that's for after you go to bed. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Space was fiction. Grandpa, was Grandpa Pickles going to watch a porn movie? Yes. Yes. Yes, he was. I, I, I mean, I'm 97 years old, Sprouts. I'm not dead. I mean, I'm going to pop my baloney. <laughs> if I'm going to pop my baloney. The babies must work together to find the pieces of the broken statues. If babies find all their statue pieces for Angelica finds her golden statue, the babies oh, will not. Okay. Baby got it good. <laughs> Stop. Stop that. Stop that. Send Angelica away. Bring baby here. Wow. Like almost every single character from the parents has been recast in the Rugrats reboot. Well... I don't think they should have done a reboot. Period. That show is still funny. It still holds up. 
Not to mention Chucky's voice is a different person. Well, then it got yeah, well, yeah, no, Christine Cavanaugh unfortunately did retire from voice acting That's, and eventually uh, passed away. Yeah, I believe Chucky's actually being done by Nancy Cartwright now. Yep. Uh, Nancy Cartwright took over in 2000. Don't have a cow, Tommy. That's Wait, because why uh, Nancy Cartwright passed Wait, away in uh, 2014. Why is Grandpa spiking this? Uh, because he wants your sprouts. Yeah, yet uh, the babies are uh, still voiced by their original uh, performers. Nice. I found a statue piece. Go to hell, oh, oh, idiot. They- there's this VTuber that I know. She, her normal voice, she sounds just like Lil. It's her normal voice. Huh. Spike was voiced by Frank Welker. Oh, well. Well, of course. What a, what a, what a surprise. <laughs> you need a, an undescript animal noise? Yeah, yeah you hire him. <laughs> I'm serious. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of the movies, then it was voiced by Bruce Willis. Uh, yep. Uh, well, or Michael Dell, apparently, in the, uh, dream sequence. Michael Dell, the guy who ran Dell, the company? No, yes. Michael Dell. Yeah, Michael Dell. No, Bell with a B. Oh. Tom Bodet. He'll leave, uh, he'll leave the light on for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who, uh... Oh Let's no, what, Angelica what took getting? 10 cookies from Lil. That's awful. I've only got four left. Uh, Guess I better be. Uh, Mark in Speed Buggy. Uh, Zan and Gleek in the Super Friends. Uh, the Riddler in Challenge of the Super Friends. I can't trade cookies for card. Uh, Dr. Octopus and Spider-Man and his amazing friends. Uh, Ooh, Frank, Frank Welker? No, uh, the, the guy who was the speaking voice of uh, Spike in one episode. Uh, he was even oh. the overdub of Peter Chris in uh, Kiss Meets the Phantom of the Park. Oh, God. You ever watched that movie? <laughs> No, but it sounds awful. Uh, it's on YouTube. Trust me. Watch it. It's an experience. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, he was Grouchy Smurf, Lazy Smurf, Handy Smurf, and Johan. Whoever Johan was. He was the human uh, that appeared in some uh, episodes. Uh, and then uh, Prowl, Scrapper, Sideswipe, Bombshell, First Aid, Swoop, Gort, Brainstorm and Dr. Fujiyama in Transformers and Transformers the movie. Uh, plus Duke, Zamat, Blowtorch, and numerous others in G.I. Joe and G.I. Joe the movie. Plus Lance and Sven in Voltron. Hey. All right. Oh, he was also Ezekiel Rage in uh, The Real Adventures of Johnny Quest. He was Ezekiel Jackson. Oh, and he was Drew Pickles, Charles Finster Sr., and Boris Kropotkin in Rugrats. He was a combination of Ezekiel Jackson and Cactus Jack. Ezekiel Jack. Jack Jackson. Or Cactus Jackson. Or Jackus Cactus. The famous Jack. Why are we YouTube pooping ourselves? Uh, <laughs> because if I regular poop myself, then everybody glares at me. <laughs> and we don't want that. Uh, one. All right. I got cookies. Chucky's got a shitload of cookies. Chucky's a spoiled little brat. 
Find that piece. Oh, this ought to help. Yeah, I just cringed horribly from the uh, title of uh, Wang's latest video. <laughs> you know, that's almost every uh, ep uh, uh, video that there's a cringe about. Wax in his wiener. <laughs> that sounds funny though. Yeah, so he's got a he's got a waxy wiener. What? It's a candle wax in a guy's urethra. Urethra. I'm pretty sure that uh, everything beats baby power. Babies are useless. Although they are very cute. Also, it's child well, labor. Yes. <clears throat> and going back to uh, voice acting for a moment. Do you know yeah. who really apparently had a very prolific voice acting career that I didn't know until recently? Who? Um, the guy who, uh, he was Scrooge McDuck, Alan Young. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He did lots of stuff over the years. <clears throat> Other than Mr. Ed, uh, on that show. Ooh, he's a talking horse. I'm Mr. Ed. Lee. Depending upon who you believe, they either used wires to move my mouth, or they put peanut butter in it. Or they shoved a carrot up my butt. <laughs> no, no. Now you're now you're being ridiculous, Wilbur. Well, have you ever watched that movie Hot to Trot? Where John Candy plays a horse, and with a uh, bobcat goldfife? Yeah. Ha. So you kind of lack this, Dad. Nothing like Mr. Ed. You talk when his lips moved. Yeah, your lips would move too if somebody shoved a carrot up your butt. That's what he says in the movie. <laughs> like, yeah, I think uh, my lips would move in pain if somebody shoved a carrot up my butt. They're like, ah! Oh. <coughs> yeah. That that's just ruining good produce. I mean, your your mouth would open and shut very abruptly too if somebody shoved a carrot up your ass. Yeah, I mean, I I, I feel like <clears throat> my first reaction would be, "Hey, who just shoved the carrot up my butt?" Just I'm just throwing that out there. No. Whoa! That is, that is not a doctor recommended way of getting beta carotene. You, a yeah. I thought they said carrots were good for your eyes, not your eggs. Well, they're good roughage. Uh, uh, I guess so. <clears throat> do 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 do. do. Too bad Too bad he cooked you. Well, I you can. Double search power. Yep, that means you can search twice when you land on a search space. Why is Phil just like he's in the Civil War? There's a, a female VTuber. Her name is uh, Fang. Fangu. And uh, her, her natural speaking voice, she sounds exactly like Lil from. Oh, she does. Oh, she uh, sounds exactly like her. That reminds me, uh, that anime uh, VTuber Legend. Uh, apparently, they were doing promotional material for that as far back as like 2021, uh, when the. Uh, uh, the uh, the novel and then eventually the manga came out. 
they actually made a VTuber model for that character way back then. <laughs> and even even did a promotional video with uh, Hosho Marine. Oh, everyone's favorite it. horny that pirate. Is... Everybody's favorite horny pirate. <laughs> Jean-Pierre Lafitte. You got another piece, apparently. <laughs> Jean Pierre to my feet. Don't you remember Jean Pierre? La he did a match with Brett the Hitman Hurt. I have some cookies. PCO? Jean Pierre Lafitte. <laughs> he was the opposite of Jean Pierre Lahead. Uh, and La Butt. You know what they say. If something smells, it's usually the butts. Yep. He who smelt it, dealt it. There was a, uh... I don't need one of these. Mayor that was in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and his name was okay. Harry Balls. Chucky ran out of Z's, so he's got to go to the crib room. He got to go to sleepy butt. Gotta take a nap. No. As all babies should. Smelly pot. Oh. Ugly wuggly telly pot. Smelly but smelly but what, what are, are they, they feeding you? Feeding you? <laughs> Beans. Smelly cat. Smelly, um, uh, smelly dick, smelly dick. Uh, where uh, are they sticking you? <laughs> in the butt, Bob. Oh. In the smelly cat, smelly cat. No, don't put it there. That's awful. Angelica took 10 don't of my cookies. What a bitch. Yeah, now Angelica, you got no cookies. You fucking bitch. I got no cookies today. Yeah, f I don't got no cookies I don't got no cookies. No oh my God. cookies got me. Yaka ta ta, yaka ta ta. This game uh, makes me nostalgic for wanting to kick a baby. <laughs> kick the baby. <laughs> I don't know why I went vaguely like uh, Charlie there. Uh, this this, <coughs> this game makes me want to kick babies. Uh, but in the, a nostalgic the adults, way. The adults on this show were so stupid. How do you not realize the babies escaped like, for the umpteenth time? Come on. Anywho, uh, thoughts on Rugrats Scavenger Hunt, Dane? Um... It was inoffensive at best. Granted, I was never really a Rugrats fan growing up, but this seems like one of those games where you can plop down little kids and be like, all right, you little shitheads, play this game. Yeah. Jason? I rented this back in the day because I was like, ooh, looks like Mario Party. <laughs> I was slightly disappointed because there were no mini games. Uh, Billy. It's not a Mario oh. Party without mini games. True, Billy. I. Well, um, I always wondered why Rugrats never got a Super Nintendo game because they came out when the Super Nintendo was uh, in its heyday. Uh, but uh, this game right here, I never played it, and I always thought that whenever sure they rendered Rugrats, the Rugrats never got a Super and... Nintendo game. I don't think they did. Uh, uh, well, they they recently got an NES game for no reason. Uh, 
Well, they That's... have a they had a PlayStation game, they had a Game Boy game, a couple PlayStation games actually. Uh, They're Game Boy Advance, terrible. PS2, GameCube. Yeah, I guess they didn't get a new Super Snooper Nintendo game. Snooper. That, that's what yep. they would call it. The babies would probably call it a Snooper Nintendo. Yep. Uh, it's fine. Boy, that's Snooper Nintendo. Mario Party without the mini games. It, it's, it's, I, I, th I thought it was still fun to play, but yeah, it's no Mario Party for sure. Scores out of 10, Dane. Four. Jason. Six. Billy. Four. We could give it a six as well. All right, going to spin this bad boy again. Let's see what we get. I got, uh, Chase, I got Nanners Jason. on my TV right now, and you should see the things that she's drawing right now. Jason, pick a game. Jet Force Gemini. Hell yeah, let's do it. Ooh, Dolby Jet Surround. Force Gemini. And widescreen. Yeah, this, this, this game had quite the... Uh... Fancy stuff on it. There is a lot of dialogue, so I try to skip through it as quick as possible to get to the gameplay. Because <laughs> if you don't, you're in big. Don't be a whore. Close the door. Mm. Didn't this get a um, Switch release? Uh, yeah, it's on the Switch app for the N64 and the rated 17 and up or 18 and up app on the uh, Japanese eShop. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, the, the bug guts was enough for it to be uh, considered too violent in Japan. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Not here. It's like if it ain't, if it ain't is it blood and guts, we're fine here. But if it's blood, you know, bug guts, we're like. Eh. Well, because you literally could collect. One of the collectibles in the game was enemy severed heads. Yeah, it's not considered real. You could also violence. collect the. Uh, you could also collect the heads of. Uh, the little tribal people too, uh, if you accidentally killed them. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. You want to know what's odd? If you are have an enemy and you want, you know, in a movie, and you you want it to be gory, and you want it, and you want it, you want, you want a, it, you want a you want a PG-13 rating. And you want it. What you do is you don't you don't have the blood red, any other color, but red. Then you get away with it. Oh my god, is that blood aquamarine? Okay. Uh, that, well, there were games that let you change the color of the blood. That like, blood uh, is plaid. Wasn't Mortal, didn't Mortal Kombat have green blood? Yes. At one point? Uh, uh, there was also the uh, horrible idea of Making the blood sweat that didn't look like sweat. Look like cum. Yep. Good one. Liu Kang got real excited about decapitating a guy. <coughs> it's not how you give head, Liu Kang. I love the uh, fuzzy dice on the spaceship. Oh no, they're killing the Smurfs. No! <laughs> the legally I, uh, distinct white Smurfs. <laughs> they're killing the Smurfs. I, I will say, I enjoyed uh, the little bit that I played of the uh, port for Rare Replay, and I'm still salty that that still hasn't left the Xbox One. Because, like, Rare Replay would make a killing on the Switch. Hmm. Come along with the snorks. Uh, like, 
imagine this game but with like a modern freaking controller setting with like dual stick control hmm. so much to see waiting for you and me we're just underwater no. yeah Um, play along with the sporks. But doesn't anybody remember Shirt Tales? Did did game yeah. did, did game crash? Oh no! Did it crash? Oh, oh dear! What for? What for do? What for do? This uh, this is no this is no good. This I is reset. terrible. I reset. Let's Ach, McPesh. Maybe I should just leave it in regular definition. <laughs> per perhaps. What does the there's not anybody not know? The, 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 there was the woozles. Do you, you remember woozles? They were yeah. they were kind of like uh, uh, you know I I don't like to uh, I don't like to judge but there was a lion mixed with a bee. Are they trying to say lion fucked the bee and and out popped that woozle thing? Well, there, there were uh, there were the popples too. That is yes, yes popples. Ah, <clears throat> uh, crap, it's not working. <laughs> there was also the little. Hey. Our, our accoutrements breaking the game. Possibly. There are also pound puppies. Why would you want to pound a puppy? That is, that, that's horrible. No, we're not talking about pounding puppies. You know, the place where the dogs go when they're stray. You know, the pound. Oh, so they, they, go, to, they go to the farm where they, they run around. If you say so, comrade. Well, that, when my papa, when my papa would take the dogs, he'd say, Vladimir, my, my son, they, they are going to farm where uh, uh, they, they go run around. And, I, I, would, I would want to go to farm and, and my papa would say, no, you fucking idiot, we can't go. Which was leading learned, me to believe. Uh, let's sigh. Let's, one more I time. learned what where you, farm is. What, where is farm? Your game too. What the hell? It is, it is called Bulletberg Farm. Bulletberg Farm? I, uh, uh, that, that's, that's a strange name for a farm. Yes, it's what my uncle told me back when I was child. It's called Bullettburg Farm. Oh, I, I is that, see. Is that that same farm that that politician uh, grew up on? So I, I I have all the accoutrements off now, so I, I don't know. I, I guess it's just not going to work. I don't know. Uh, I guess the game doesn't like you. Pretend to be somebody else. All right, I guess I guess we're not going to be playing Jet Force Gemini. Uh, pick a different game, Jason. Since it was a Jason's choice, I'll let you pick a second one. Uh, let's go with Battle Tanks Global Assault, then. Yeah, it works for me. Hopefully that game works. And we're not going to have as long with this game because that took a long time. That took about seven minutes, so... Oh. Battle Tanks with an X because we're extreme. Now we played the first one uh, a couple episodes ago. Yep. Yeah, the second one was better than the first one. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Here we go. Five Bye. years ago, a plague killed 99.9% .9 of all women. Gay sex was very what? rampant in this world. Eventually, what? nukes were used, and the apocalypse was upon us. The ass apocalypse. 
My name is Griffin Spade, Battlelord. Maybe you've heard of me. If you haven't, I have a gigantic asshole thanks to all the gay sex we've had to have. Thanks to the fact that there's no women. Now Madison and I rule the city of San Francisco. We have a baby boy. It's a butt baby. But lately, I've Mike, been seeing an evil face in my Mike, dreams. Mike, if you're not, not going to take this seriously. Oh, it's San Francisco. Butt that's the baby. That's like the perfect place for this to take place since there's all, all kinds of butt sex. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Post apocalyptic butt sex. Post apocalyptic butt sex. What? Shadow me. Shadow me. Man, you guys is crazy. Oh, that's just silly. <laughs> you guys are being sick. You guys are stupid. All right, dude. And destroy all invading tanks. Shit, dude. Oh, for God's sakes! Are you telling me this one's not working either? Are, Why are you broke? What the hell is going what? on? What the fuck? I guess I guess they just don't want Jace to be to have these games. It's crazy. My eye is literally twitching right now. <laughs> it's like every game Jason picks is gonna break or something. Horrible. Let's try it again. Battle tanks. Battle tanks. Five years ago, plague did stuff. All right, got it. <laughs> no, no, no. You, you, you had a, you had a monologue already there. Can, can just. Not say it. You just can't. What the? F uh, are you fucking kidding me with this? Wow. <sighs> what the fuck? Wow. wow. This game plays about as good as Northwest singing voice. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try it one more time, and if it breaks again, then we're just going to have to have Jason pick another game. <laughs> oh, my God. And we'll have even less time with that one because uh, cause it's how long we've taken so far. Uh, no. You can't be bossy. I have, again, I have cheats turned off, so uh, it can't be that. Well, I will say one thing. If I have to pick another game, it's not going to be Ogre Battle because it's an RPG and you actually need time with an RPG. Captain Jam Cubes. Captain This is got a silky smooth uh, frame rate once it actually starts working. Yeah. Friendly fire. Oops. Well, at, least, at, least, at least it's gone more than two minutes without locking, without hard locking. That's Where, nice. did you learn? Where did you learn to program a fucking game, 3DO? <laughs> In my hands. I mean, you answered the question right there, 3DO. I was asking them where they learned to program. They didn't. Yeah, three three DO was a uh, joke console. Oh, thank God! I thought it froze again. <laughs> that would have been. 
Last thing I want is like 20 minutes of a wasted segment, and that means we only get two games this episode. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Just picked all that shit. Billy, you hear about the uh, new uh, common rider rider? Rider, 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 rider. All rider, all rider, all rider. What's the thing yeah, this time? Uh, uh, common rider Gav is uh, themed after snack food. Common rider Gov oh, is a God. British version. Well, uh, is, is is supposed to be the sound of like chomping on something. Gobble. Not, not, like, not, not, uh, not, not. Yeah. Um the base form is popping gummy. Oh god. Uh with the power up forms so far, including chocolate, which appears oh. to be a cowboy with a gun, uh potato chip, which has a sword, uh marshmallow which is uh, the Berserker, like big beefy boxing glove type design, and Gurukyan, which is Swirl Lollipop, a gigantic armored form that looks like something out of Warhammer. I am just waiting for oh, them shit. To, to do one. Um, Kamen Rider Kabuki. <laughs> Uh, also, the head writer is Junko Komura, uh, uh -huh. more known for working on Sentai shows. She was the head writer of Zooger, Lupin Ranger vs. Pat Ranger, and uh, Zenkaiger. Uh, she also worked on Gosager, Goanger, Gokaiger. Uh, she was co writer Go on Go Kamen Rider yourself. Wizard. And uh, wrote uh, a bunch of episodes of Drive. Oh, so she's very well versed in these characters, then. Okay, good. good yeah, good. yeah. Well, hell, Wizards one of my favorite seasons, and Drive oh, yeah, was pretty damn one. good. You so, want to know what I'd like for them to do? Common uh, Rider, Common Rider, Buka, or Common Rider Kabuki is. You already said. Oh no no no! Not Common no, Rider no, no. Bukaki. <laughs> that would be different. <laughs> that would be gross. Um, no, uh, I'm talking about a Sentai series. I would like them that their whole the series is focused around yokai. You know, they're all themed. They're different. Their hey, giant mechs are all yokai. They came yokai. close with uh, Don Brothers by doing the uh, Momotaro theme. Yeah, but I'm talking like there's a Kappa robot mech. You know, a uh, I, I want to see. I want to see a. Uh, Journey Did, to the West. Uh, dude, were you just saying Jesus. copper in a Boston accent? <laughs> no, 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 kappa. 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 Yeah, that, that, kappa, kappa. that motherfucker over there has made a kappa. Get off of me, <laughs> Tank. Kappa. Kappa are uh, water sprites that steal your soul out through your, your buttholes. Yeah. Well, they don't have to have that. As a feature of the yep, robot, you're, but your your shitty dama, you're a shitty yeah. dama. Oh, I made it to the end. Actually, nice. I was told that I was a very good dama. The best it was. At least that's at least that's what my subs have told me. <laughs> Anywho, okay, so the game is actually frozen on me again. Uh... I'm over it at this point, uh, but we've played enough of Battle Tanks. We've played about 10 minutes. That's about all we were going to get anyway. Thoughts on Battle Tanks Global Assault, uh, Dane? Uh, he left. Uh -oh. Yeah, he said he was... Oh, I see. I see. Never mind. Jason? You know, I mean, it's an improvement. If you could play it more. All right. <laughs> Uh, Billy. Yeah, I like destruction games like this. Yeah, uh, it's fun. Um, unfortunately, we didn't play long enough to see if it was actually better than the first one, but um, from the way it played, it, it played very good, so uh, it has a lot of potential to be better than the first one for sure. Scores out of 10, Jason. Six. Billy. Yeah, five. I'm going to give it a seven. 
five, six, seven. There's still some gold on that wheel. It's uh, with uh, Gauntlet Legends and uh, Road Rash and Ogre Battle. I need to get rid of a couple of games off the wheel at the moment because we've just been through them. Okay, let's spin one more time and, and see what we we're got, playing. And we got Dookie on the wheel. Madden, NASCAR, Army Men. Win back. And... So that, game, that game got a PS2 port. What do we got here, huh? Electronic Arts. E -E -A. E -E -E -E. E yeah, it's it's Knockout Kings 2000. It is. Uh, got three dumb we cards. We do have four diarrhea cards. Four diarrhea cards, yeah, we do. You want to use them? Use one? What do, what do you think, Billy? Use one? Yeah, why not? Yeah. All right. I just realized that in the list that we have here, Rugrats Scavenger Hunt was uh, misspelled, so it's Rugrate. Oh, did we, Rugrate. Did I, did I accidentally misspell it? Yeah, in the list oh, it yeah. says Rugrate. Rugrate? <laughs> Rugrate. Rugrate. It's Rugrate. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. All right. Uh, this. This is a good dump card candidate, too, I think. And for the Super Sentai team, they could call it Yokaiger. <laughs> oh, that would be good. We are very quickly approaching that 50th anniversary, too. Oh, uh, uh, is this Rally Challenge? No, uh, I believe it's World Driver Championship. Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to pull out the card on this one. All right, Billy. Yeah, sure. All right. Spin it again. All right. Could Show me good. the potato salad. It's not Rayman. Totally. <laughs> Uh, even though it's literally the exact same uh, company. Aww. Developed by Ubisoft Montreal. Uh, the story goes, Janitor Ed drops a container of unidentified fluid from his spaceship to Earth transforming the planet into a mutated version of itself. Drunkard Grog drinks from the container and is granted powers that lead him to conquer Earth. Assuming the role of Ed, the player is tasked to solve puzzles and defeat enemies to acquire the tools to conquer Grog and repossess the container to create an antidote. There's Ed. Uh, a team of about 120 people um, released on N64 and Windows uh, with a Game Boy Color adaptation as well. Sold over a million copies. Uh... Con Whee! Conceived and initially designed by Michel Ancel, who also created Rayman, which makes sense. Uh, and inspired by Day of the Tentacle uh, and the world-traveling mechanic of Link to the Past. Huh. Michel Ancel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, they wanted to take full advantage of the Pentium 2 on PC, apparently. First game, uh, what first seems to be on DVD ROM? Okay. Uh, des designer Guillaume Oliver Clement 
uh, stated that the design team aimed to make the player rationalize every step you took, contrary to what was done in games like Duke Nukem and Quake, uh, and opted to differentiate the game from sister project Rayman 2 The Great Escape by focusing more on adventure, whereas Rayman 2 was action. Piggy methane? He uses pig farts? <laughs> uh, Nintendo Power gave it a 7.4. IGN gave it a 5 out of 10. Uh... GameSpot gave it a 3 out of 10. GamePro gave it a 3 out of 5. Game Informer gave it a 7 out of 10. UGM gave it a 6.12. Ow. Oh, God. I'm a sliding yeah, away. <laughs> yeah, this very much looks like, you know sister game to Rayman. It, it very much is exactly that. It's a Ray Mario party. Or Mar <laughs> Ray Mario 64, I should say. Man. Yeah. Well, until Rayman 2 came out, uh, this was very much just, oh, hey, we made a uh, 3D Rayman game. Yeah. But with purple Rayman. As I said, there was a Rayman game on 64, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Rayman 2, I believe. Which, or, or is it just called Rayman, I think, on 64? Or maybe it was Rayman 64, but either way, the first one, Rayman similar to Gex, escape, was a side-scroller. Uh, oh, God. Rayman 64... Which was Rayman 2, The Great Escape. Yep. Well. Wahoo! Well. Do, do, do. Well. <laughs> well. 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 Keep falling down holes. A loner in poles, pears. What? Why? Why are there palm trees in a frozen tundra? I don't pay you to ask questions. Okay. I don't get paid at all. That's right. You're not getting paid, and that's final. <laughs> God damn it! Stop falling down hallways. Stop falling down holes. Ducky go down the hole. I, I feel like we've been on this slide forever. For two and a half minutes at least. We've barely seen any of the platforming. Oh boy, an extra life. Congratulations, Ow. Okay. Oh, come on. It put me all the way back here. All the way back there, really? That's bullshit. Well, this is bullshit, eh? Ah, oh, no, the hole. Uh, D hole. 
This game is starting to be a D-hole. Oh, okay. Bridge. Oh, finally. Finish. Yeah. I love how he just kicked the clock. <laughs> yeah. That clock kicker. He got sucked into that warp hole. Well, hello. Hi there, I'm Susie. You must be Ed, right? Don't take it badly or anything, but I was expecting someone a bit more, or, well, a bit less purple. Anyway, the main thing is to get the can back from the grog before he becomes too powerful. Start off, you gotta free my father, the doc. He's a brilliant inventor. Once he's free, he'll be able to help you. You're very shapely for a Nintendo character. <laughs> yeah, she has a literal uh, hourglass figure. Yeah. Nope. You want twist or you want chop? I don't know. What do you? Uh, would you I, I think twist. I want. I don't know. I think I want twist. He's getting ice cream. Yeah. That's why he asked me. Do you want a titty twister or a purple nurple? Oh, well, all depends on who's doing it. Uh, you want you want noogies or an Indian burn on your pecker? All depends on who's doing it. Um, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> gonna color tomatoes. You have a weapon for me or something? Oh, I guess not. Bloosh. <laughs> yeah, God damn it. Stay on the fucking bridge, Ed. Oh my oh, god, for God's sakes. <laughs> nope. There we go. Well, there's nothing over here. What the fuck was that all about? Where do I go? It looks like there's a key underwater or something. I don't know how to dive. I don't know how to do anything. This tutorial sucks. I don't know if you could call it a tutorial if it's not showing you how to do it. If anything. it's not telling you. Can you, like, jump on that tomato? Well, I can't run into it, I'll tell you that much. Like, what do your buttons do? Can you smack it? Can you... Can you whack it? Can you smack and whack it? Can't even fucking hit it. You gonna whack a guy? You gonna off a guy? You gonna whack off a guy? <laughs> so C buttons are just kind of Mary. A jumps. B don't do shit. R and L just rotate camera. Z just centers it behind you. What the fuck? Exactly, little boy. Oh, but I can do that again. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm good. Uh, thoughts on Tonic Trouble, Jason? Yeah, you know, it'd be nice if we could figure out what the hell to do in the game. Uh, yeah, I'd rather play Rayman. Uh, Billy. 
I like Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, but is it Tonic Trouble? No, it's better. It's better. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I don't. I don't know about this one, man. I just like. Yeah, I, I think I'm with Jason. I'd think I'd rather play Rayman. Scores out of ten, Jason. Four. Billy. Three. Uh, four. On this edition of the show, we played Rugrats Scavenger Hunt, Battle Tanks, Global Assault, and Tonic Trouble. Best game of the episode, Jason. Jet Force Gemini. <laughs> we didn't play it. Still was the best game of the episode, even though it wasn't played. Uh, all right, Billy. Common Rider Toe Rub. Uh, I will choose uh, one night in Bangkok makes a hard man humble. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for joining us on this edition of Retro Roulette. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Fortune, Jason Amherst, and Billy Carter, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Retro Roulette.